What's up everybody? Hey, welcome to the channel, Redline Outdoors. Today's video is gonna be on mineral sites and selecting mineral sites. And a few things that I personally look for when I'm trying to select a, a good mineral site. And also, I'm gonna talk about um, not all mineral sites are created equally. Uh, I'm going to show you guys two different mineral sites that I have, and they're already established, but one is um, has everything I'm looking for as far as whenever I'm looking for a mineral site, and the other one, not so much. But sometimes you just have to roll with the punches, and if you want a mineral site at your particular location that you hunt, especially for you southern guys that hunt pine plantations and you have a block of, of timber and you pretty much have to stick within the, the domain of the spot you know where they where the club tells you you have to hunt um, uh, that spot that I'm talking about doesn't necessarily have a bigger deer herd there it's just not uh, really suitable for a mineral site and, and it doesn't have pretty much anything that I look for as far as whenever I'm trying to select uh, a good mineral site however the deer do still use it but I guarantee you at uh, the spot that I have that has everything I'm looking for in a mineral site they're gonna be in it every day probably starting today live is it live all right see all that jerking you gotta be still Sorry. can you see me yes can you see my face yes all right guys here we are we're at the first location and this particular spot has everything that i look for whenever i'm uh putting together a mineral site as you can see it's open it's shady and there's water close. There's a swamp right back there and the mosquitoes are biting my cameraman. My son's filming me today. All right, Barrett. And there's water close. I always try to find water close whenever it's, I'm looking for the perfect mineral site. And I have a tree stand selection right up here in an ironwood tree. Yeah. Right over there. And uh it's a pretty good early season location. But we're about to freshen up this site right now and I actually forgot my deer camera at the truck. So I gotta decide whether I'm gonna run back to the truck and put it up or not. But uh let's get started on this spot right here. So we're gonna be using Lucky Buck. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put out half a bucket here and a half a bucket at the other spot. Why did you buy two buckets? For other spots another day. So I'm just gonna scatter this around in this whole area right here. And I brought look at me. I brought this rake so I can mix it in the soil, but it's it's uh pretty packed down, but I'm gonna mix it the best I can. That's about half. Can you see? There. Sir. Can you see? I see. Let's 
put a little bit more on top. All right, so I, I just about guarantee you those deer are going to be in this spot this afternoon. But uh, this is the perfect spot. This is everything I look for whenever I'm building a mineral site. It's open, water's close, and it's a low stem count, and it's shaded. So these deer will absolutely come in here at all times of the day and hit this mineral site. They, there's no sun in here. It's nice and cool. And summertime, there's got to be water close. I'm not saying they won't hit a mineral site that doesn't have water close. I'm not saying that. But this is the perfect spot. Everything I look for is right here. So let's go to the next spot. And I'm going to show you a spot that's, that's not quite as good as this one. Just because, of, simply because of the location. Not to, It has nothing to do with... Uh, there's more deer being there it's just not as good of a location but they still use it and uh a lot of us we don't have the luxury to move around and uh find that perfect location and that's uh kind of what happened on this piece of property it's small i don't have a whole lot of places to move and find a better a spot to put a mineral site and i want to have a mineral site there so let's go look at that spot bear yes, sir. what are these called push me knots Show the people at home what they do. Uh-uh. I got to zoom in on it. Let's find a good one. Hmm. This? This is? Yeah, let me zoom in. Wait. Okay, zoom in. Go. Yeah. Touch them like this. Just touch it. Okay. Touch it with your finger. Oh, he's already starting to close. Do that other one. Y'all see it move? Barely. This one's closing. It closed. Yep. Touch me knots. Where'd he go? There he is. Man. Come here and film. Where is it? Is it dead? No, it got away. Okay, good. Dad, what was it? A water moxie. No. Oh, darn it. How about you walk, uh, ride on my back? Okay, Dad. We need to cut this grass. Please. What was he doing? Was he curled up or what? He, he was just, he was like fluttering along that way. He probably saw us coming. That's probably a scare. Does that scare you? <laughs> yeah. As soon as I saw it, it did. I was like, ah! Well, doggone it. Ah. That ain't good. Now you know that this place is infested with snakes. You can ride on my back on the way out. Okay, Dad. You're heavy, too. I know. I'd rather me get bit than you. Can huh? you say that? Because you got a long life ahead of you. That's why. Okay. <laughs> what is that? That's what, that's what, wait, dad, but, that's what dads wait, do. But how will I get home? You oh, get, I can just pocket. If I get. I can just pickpocket your phone and call yeah, 911. If I get bit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just going to leave me here? No, I'm going to, like. I'll try to help you. I'll try to help you. You'll try to help me? But that's what dads do. They, sac just, they, they sacrifice for their kids. I just first call 911. You'll call 911? First. Okay. Well, you can ride on my back. Okay, Dad. All right. Hold on. Okay, let's go. You're choking me. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. All right. We safely made it to the second location. We're I'm almost there. Into snake. I hope not. So we're gonna ease out here, show y'all this spot, and uh, 
call it a wrap for today's video hey i'm interested in knowing i don't claim to be a know-it-all but i'm interested in knowing how you guys like to set up your mineral locations i can always learn something new leave it in the comments below if you don't mind you want to set that camera up for me well, where does it go put it on that tree right there yeah so we're about to uh, i'm about to put these minerals out right here and uh <laughs> i can't believe it's already it's already getting time to start getting ready but i i did have good buck on camera right over here in the broad daylight which is unusual sometimes for around here but I really tucked in as close as I could to their bedding area. And um, last year when I hunted here, I was seeing deer out in this open, but it was right at dusk whenever they were coming out. <clears throat> and so I decided to slip in here a little bit closer to where where they were coming from. A little bit lower, sir. Put it about uh, hip high. We might could even back it up some, but got Barrett setting up that camera back there. And, uh, I'm excited to see what we got here. Okay. That's good enough. Five times. Press OK. Uh, press it again. Okay. Go up. Let's put it on about a. See what we can. Kind of delay we can get. Go up. One more time. Five minutes. Now let's do one minute. Press OK. 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 All right. I tell you what. Just push it up because it's ready. There's the, there's the. That's good. <laughs> yeah. You set? I know, that's all right. They'll eat them. They gotta learn somehow. Here. There you go. It ain't ideal, but it'll work. We'll freshen it up. You think that's good, buddy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a camera. There's a mineral site. I didn't want to put it down here. You probably can't tell on the camera, but it slopes down here and it slopes down there. There's just going to be a lot of water running through here, and I didn't want it to wash our minerals away. Away. Can you get the lid? Help me close this video out. Okay. That was a close call with that snake, wasn't it, boy? It was. Thanks for coming with me today. You're welcome. I love you, son. Won't be long, we'll be deer hunting. Yes, it will. At least I didn't get bit. At least neither one of us got bit. Or, or even worse, dying. All right, guys. Appreciate y'all tuning in. And I hope y'all hit that subscribe button before you leave. Y'all come back and see us. Redline Outdoors, y'all have a good day. Okay. Slap the camera. Okay, one minute. Don't, don't I break it. Ah, they can't even see you. Oh, sorry. <laughs>